Hello again, everyone! Welcome to the bonus episode of Suikoden! We'll start on the dock out here. Here's, uh, we'll go through, um, all of the, uh, little mini-games and where everyone is inside the, uh, um, uh, castle. Um, so, this is Torin Castle. I feel so good. I'm so glad for you. Are you my drinking partner tonight? I feel like wandering off somewhere. What to do about Brother Taiho's whims? The problem with having so many characters is that I can never remember what voice I used for anyone. Well, not for anyone, but... Hey boss, what can I do for you? See, that actually does say G on it for ground floor. Why they use basement? Perhaps this old man can be of some use. And of course she just uh oh, I've forgotten the spell again. Oh well. And teleportation. Incidentally, this is where uh um uh, where we've got. So there's quite a few places that you can you can go. What can this old woman do for you? Not much. Well, well, this is a surprise. What are you doing here? Uh, this is my castle. Sorry, but I'm busy with my research. How's it hanging? Yeah, I'm hanging just fine. <laughs> Good for you, Kryn. Good for you. Let's go to the first floor. Hey, all don't look so morose. She'll depress everyone else. Under the circumstances, I'll have to stick with you until the end. Care to taste my stew? I shall cook something that will give everyone power. I'm fighting too. They fight with pots and pans. It's kind of funny, actually. I'm kind of surprised they don't have a unite attack, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, Jupo's so stingy. He won't teach me a thing. Hmm, I think I left the clothes drying outside when I came here. Master Ald, are you here to see Master Lepont? Oh, hey. Hi there. So talkative. Seeing his happy face reminds me of my own youth. There are some fine women in the women in the Liberation Ar Army, aren't there, Ald? Clea is exactly my type of girl. I don't think she'd go for you. Could be wrong, though. Master Ald, you have a fine army here. We seafaring merchants are wel would welcome peace. Commander Ald, I'm very glad to have joined the Liberation Army. Together, we'll defeat the Imperials. That we will. That we will. And by the time this episode goes up, I should have already done that. Woohoo! Yes, I know I shall defeat them in the future. Past. Whatever. Heads or tails. The six faces of a die. I may be a fool, but these... These things... I get passionate about. And of course, here is the easiest money-making thing in the world. I'm not actually going to go through it, but it, it's really easy. I mean, especially with the uh, save... Uh, I mean, with save states, it's really easy, but with the um, the in on the same level, it's pretty easy as well. Um, so long as you don't let them let him uh, drain your cash, you're good. Work? Uh, no, not really, actually. Yes, I can appraise anything. Well, no, not anything. You didn't. You weren't able to appraise the item that uh, made you come here. We're always well stocked. So there's some pretty good uh, um, 
equipment that you can get here, although the best items are uh, still uh, drops from enemies, so... Um, if you really want those items, you'll have to go fight them a lot, which I probably will end up doing. Welcome to the hardware store. I always wanted to say that. And of course, uh, you can get some uh, regular crystals for everyone. And yeah, fortune crystal, champion's crystal. It's pretty good stuff. Actually, I need to run upstairs and to the second floor for a second. No, I guess we'll do that. We'll, we'll do the main level and the, the main uh, uh, building and then go back down to uh, see the uh, that those other outbuildings. Welcome, welcome. Take a look at this. Isn't it wonderful? Sure. You have business in my vault? Um... As you can see, I've got a ton of crap, too. Uh, let's actually, do I have anyone on? Is there anything? Oh, that's right, I took everyone out of my party. <laughs> I did end up going back and getting the uh, um, sound setting that I missed. You can actually go back to um, the uh, uh, Fortress of Shazarazad, so I was able to do that. As you can see, I've got some... I've got... Uh, Rage Crystal, Flowing Crystal, Cyclone Crystal, Mother Earth Crystal, and Thunder Crystal. I've got one each right now of the uh, um, uh, second level uh, elemental crystals, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty pleased there. And I'll do the bath uh, events in a little bit. What's happening? You want to take a bath? You'll feel refreshed. Heard anything interesting lately? Oh, I'm thinking about learning how to cook. Good for you. Do you want to see me dance again? Sure. It's not like you're doing much else here. Liberation Army gets bigger and bigger, so my work is never done. And this guy uh, sharpens up to level 16. So, because of that, um... You can sharpen everyone's weapon up to level 16 except his, which can only go up to 15, because he has to be in your party to sharpen it, and he's not here to sharpen it, so, yeah. Oh, I didn't read his thing. Oh, well. I want to keep everyone's weapons in the best shape possible. Way too cramped to work here. Stop complaining. Fine collection of tools you have here. Do -do 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 -do. I'd like to give Kirkus something in return for the ring. What do you think will please him? Master, I promise to continue fighting for the lost village of the elves, as well as for all the people of this land. This castle is too small for my feet. I'm going to be a great warrior, just like Kuromimi. Commander Alt, Kuromimi is always at your service. I'm Fusulu, the strongest man in the world. The light in my eyes has faded, but the light in my soul continues to shine. Good for you. Strength is the only truth. Nothing else is worth believing in. Hey, how about a practice match? Uh, not right now. Okay, let's head up to the... Th you know, I have no idea what this is for. It's never used. Ever. I mean, I've got everyone. No one is here. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, up to the third floor. What do you want? Oh, you can actually uh, take a look at the uh, Tablet of Destinies with him. I did not realize that. You can also walk up to the Tablet of Destinies. Ooh, okay. So, as you can see, I've got everyone. Woohoo! All 108 stars. Yeah, best ending get. And you can actually take a look at uh, um, people's statistics on here. 
So that's pretty cool. I, I, I do like that. I mean, it's a um, nice quick way to check people's stats, although you still have to get here and take a look. Uh oh, Mina's disappeared again. Oh, she's downstairs. Oh, you mean your cat. I, uh, I'd like to go home. I, I have to clean my house. No, can't leave. You never give up, do you? So, and this is the cup game. I'm not going to play it again. I do not need to. Quit. Quit it already? Come back soon. Let's go take a look at the books we've got picked up. Looking for something? Crap, I've missed one somewhere. I wonder where I missed it. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see... <laughs> so it looks like four. Ah, uh, okay. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to go get it. Huzzah! I have it! Oh, Woohoo! It was back in the uh, Dragon Knight's Fortress on the second floor in Joshua's room. So, alright. 27 true ruins. Their creation. In the beginning, there was darkness. Darkness lived for e eons. In a rift in time, suffering in solitude for so long, darkness finally dropped a tear. Two brothers were born of the tear. Sword and shield. Sword said he could cut anything to pieces. Shield swore he could protect anything, and so the two went to battle. The battle lasted seven days and seven nights. Sword cut apart shield, and shield broke into broke sword into pieces. Fragments of sword fell and became the sky. Fragments of shield fell and became the earth. Sparks from the battle became the stars. The twenty-seven jewels that adorned sword and shield became the twenty-seven true runes, and the world went into motion. Interesting. Ancient teachings. At certain times, the runes can give men immense powers. The power they provide is magic. Each rune provides four magical powers. Well, not each rune. But the great ancient magician Crowley found a method of surpassing, te surpassing te uh, teachings. If two souls are united, two runes are united, and their ultimate power is unleashed, power greater than the sum of, its, of the parts is generated. The union of souls means that two rune masters apply, apply their magic almost at the same time. The union of runes refers to harmony. In other words, fire and earth, earth and wind, wind and water, water and lightning, lightning and fire are harmonious. Ultimate power means the release of the maximum runic magic. When, the, when three of these powers are combined, the greatest of magical powers is unleashed. Alright, so basically what that's saying is that if you have the uh, second level... Um, uh, runes, the Flowing, Mother Earth, uh, Rage, Thunder, and... what's the other one? Cyclone. Um, and you do the level 4 spell on those, uh, on two with, two, uh, um, uh, with the, um, the as it said there, the harmonious one. So if you had uh, uh, a thunder and a rage rune and in, in your party and the uh, um, they're both used at the same time in the round, uh, it'll do a more powerful effect. It'll combine and make a more powerful effect. I don't usually do that very much in this game. Um, there's a lot of other powerful things to do. So, it, I don't know, the, a lot of the uh, rune cat, the um, people with high magic power they're pretty cool, but I don't know because you can only have the one rune. Sometimes there there are better runes to equip them with and stuff like that, or there's better things to do in battle. So I don't get to use them very often. Uh, maybe I will before uh, as another part of the bonus episode. I don't know yet. We'll see. Oh, and there was something about the th three of them together. I've never done that before, so I don't know. Maybe I'll look into it. Strategy of war. War begins with the understanding of the enemy's methods. A soldier is stronger than an arrow. An arrow is stronger than magic. Magic is stronger than a soldier. As a result, knowing the enemy's methods are a natural advantage. To know an enemy's hand, it is necessary to utilize ninja power! Yes! Ninja power!
An enemy's methods always follows a pattern. Knowing the pattern is a shortcut to victory. Yeah, in other words, this is telling you how to win the uh, major battles. When the enemy is without a magician, attack in full force. Betrayal is most effective. When you are few and the enemy is many. Really? When the enemy is reduced to a few, use arrows. When your numbers are many, soldiers and arrows are effective. When you are few in number, magic is effective. The only way to increase your number is to recruit. Uh-huh. The Knights of the Dragon's Den. Joshua Levenheit, commander of the Knights of the Dragon's Den, keeps the Dragon Rune. From a very early age, the children of the Dragon Knights are brought up in, a, in the Palace of the Dragon Knights. Once a year, they participate in the bonding ritual. Only those children who succeed in bonding with a dragon become a Dragon Knight. If a child fails to bond before the age of six, he will never become a Dragon Knight. The bond between a dragon and his knight is strong. A dragon lives far longer than a human. But should a dragon knight die, his dragon, out of sorrow, will take its own life. On the other hand, if a dragon dies first, its master loses his rights and privileges and must leave the knights of the dragon's den. Aw, oh, poor Fudge. Craftsman Profiles. Mace, master blacksmith, of stubborn temperament, but very kind to his apprentices. Tesla, scrivener of Ante, competent. Again, simple-minded shipbuilder of Tayen. Templeton, mapmaker. Uh, Templeton, map mapmaker. Perfectionist who appears whenever changes occur. Kimberly, ostensibly a stamp maker. She is, in fact. Uh, what? Interesting. Sergey, unsuccessful inventor, said to be in Kaku. Antonio, excellent cook living in Seika. Lester, cook whose specialty is stews. Presently working in Moravia Castle. Huh. Hugo, librarian of Klon Temple. Cassios, balladeer. Deeply in love with Milich, to whom she sings. Java, arrogant but exceptional appraiser. Feels he can appraise anything. Kamandal, popular alchemist of Tayen. So in other words, this is telling you where you can recruit some people if you don't know where to get them. Blacklist. The following list, compiled by the Imperial Garb, describes suspicious characters who may have evil intent against the Empire. Clive appears to be on the trail of somebody with the intention of extracting revenge, occasionally cited at the inn... At an inn in Rikon. And again, this is another one telling you how to recruit some people you might have missed. Kreutz, follower of the former em Emperor Guile Rugner. Long in incognito, but recently discovered to be hiding out with the, with the Knights of the Dragon's Den. Enji, pirate of Lord Lake Toran. Long standing friend of Taiho. Ruby, stray elf. Yeah, that's all. Fuma, masterless ninja, hides out with the Knights of the Dragon's Den. Fusulu, warrior who wears a tiger mask, always repays his debts and obligations. Pesmerga, seems to be looking for Uber, the Black Knight in the service of Windy. Ah, antique prices. Failure earn 10, octopus earn 500, failure earn 2500, uh, flower earn, I'm sorry, 2500. Wide earn 4000, Persian lamp 7500, blue dragon earn 8000, celadon earn 10000. Ooh. Black urn, 20,000. Fine bone china, 60,000. Hex doll, 60. Japanese dish, 3,000. Chinese dish, 6,000. Peen boy, 1,600. Bonsai, 2,500. I like the positioning of the bonsai underneath the peen boy. Knight statue, 30,000. Goddess statue, 100,000. Yeah, again, that's one of the ways to make money in the game. Although it's not anywhere near as good as the uh, um, dice game. Graffiti, 100. Flower painting, 7,000. Landscape painting, 40,000. Nature painting, 200,000. Lover's flower garden, 29,000. So those are some of the ornaments that you can get. The Kaleka Tragedy. Border disputes between the Empire and the city-state have been going on for many years. The so-called Kaleka incident took place against this tense, ugly background. Taking advantage of civil strife, with, strife within the Empire, the city-state overran the northern part of the Empire all the way to Kaleka, which they occupied. After pacifying the Empire, Barbarossa's forces headed to confront the invaders. As the city-state's forces began to retreat, the Imperial Army entered Kaleka. What they found was a burnt-out city whose residents wiped out. Leon let his forces know of the appalling devastation of Kaleka. Despite their exhaustion after the long march north, the forces were infuriated by the news, and with renewed vigor succeeded in forcing back the city-state army. 
They remember the city-state of Jouston. It may become la important later. Okay, so those are the old books. Um, some interesting information if you uh, are playing the game for the first time and uh, playing it blind. Well, it's about time I set off in search of, true, of the true color of freedom. And then you get to see the picture again. The highly pixelated picture. What's up? Looking for a game? Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually going to play it. But yeah, you can play it again if you want. I don't know what you get if you do it well. I don't really care. My dream is to map the entire world. Good for you, Templeton. Good for you. With each battle, many lives are lost. Even my medicines are useless. Recruit as many stars as you can. 108 stars of destiny. I've already done that. Let's go up. Hi, jerk. I'm sorry, Master Matthew told me to pretend that everything is normal. And you can change your party members with him. Still amuses me. Or, and anchors me. Barbarossa is my enemy. That is all. Yo! Talkative today, aren't you? Seriously, what are you doing in their room? What's up, great leader? Hope you do well in taking after Odessa. Hicks' sword swordsmanship isn't improving at all. Well, maybe stop nagging him. I guess I'm just not cut out to be a soldier. Oh... Buck up there. Master Ald is thinking about Teo. No, not really. Where's my food? Good to know you don't change. I suppose Master Matthew is right, as he is about everything. But I still can't forgive you. Oh, Apple, Apple, Apple. Grimio! Oh, young master, what happened? Well, you, you died, kinda. Just checking to make sure you're still there. Don't die on me again. Alright, Matthew is over here, but I'm not gonna go in there just yet, because that'll set off the uh, um, next section of the game. And I don't want to do that just yet. Oh, excuse me, I'm practicing my disappearing technique. I can see you! Not very good at it. A ninja wastes no words, and yet you just told me that. Friends, I suppose they're alright. Oh, Master Ald! I... nothing. Ah, oh, Kasumi. Recently, my master's spirits have been very high. Oh, I'll teach the young ones a few things yet! Good for you. Hey, Pesmerga. Someday Uber and I must finish our business. Yes, please do. I really hate that guy. The journey will not end until I capture her. Her? Her who? We won't find out yet. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Alright, let's go back down to the uh, first floor. Also, apparently Joshua, e even though he's a member of the Liberation Army now, uh, is not actually here as far as I know. You must be here to hear me sing. Yeah, sure. Let's listen to your, uh, you sing. If you walk faster. Walk faster, thank you. What shall I play today? So again, you can uh, play all the music that uh, you've encountered so far. Yay, Ted's Village music. I love this piece of music.
I do wish you could keep it playing after you leave the screen, but you can't. It's very annoying. Oh, shoot, I'd stop by here every time and just have this playing throughout the uh, fortress. So, I was thinking about playing them all, but that would just really take a long time, and really, if you want to hear the music, I'm pretty sure that it's all up on YouTube somewhere. Although the names will be slightly different. Yeah, okay. I do recommend uh, um, checking out the soundtrack, it's, it's very good. I'm worried about the dragons. Black was such a good dragon. Such a good one. I don't know, maybe you'll find another dragon someday, Futch. Maybe someday. Wow, it's pretty crowded over here now. I wonder if my fields are alright. This isn't such a bad life. This castle's pretty, a pretty good place. Not as nice as the forest where my house is, of course. My journey doesn't end here. Its purpose is to... Forget it. No use explaining it. Oh, come on, you can tell me. No, oh, I guess we won't find out yet. I finally get to fight for justice! My, my, it's Master Ald. May I offer you a cup of tea? No! Keep your tea away from me. Hi. Look, I work for Angie and Angie alone. Don't you forget that. Yeah, whatever. Wow, this place is huge. I thought it'd be about the same as our fortress. No, we're more awesome than that. Heh. <laughs> yeah, you never do say anything, do you? I miss that easygoing bandit life. Oh, maybe you'll get it back someday. Alright. Let's go over here. do 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 Commander Ald, we join you in our in your struggle according to General Tio's last wishes. Like Alan, I join you too. If I stay away from battle for a while, my hands ache with bloodlust. That that's really not good. You should you should probably see someone about that there, Valeria. Maybe eating with the Liberation Army isn't so bad. Since this side has a better chance of winning the war. Eh, good for you. Hey there. Our job is to gather the facts. To get emotional about it is sad indeed. Each just standing in front of- oh, you move. Just stand in front of a window. Commander Ald, you must remain on guard. Although I although I am now a member of the Liberation Army, I still can't believe how the Emperor has changed. Yeah, I believe it. Ald, you're beginning to resemble General Teo. Oh. So are you beginning to forgive me? No? Okay. Well, maybe someday. Oh, oh, why does it have to start the music? My dear friend, I, Vincent, keep you in... Keep you always in my thoughts. Stop it. I'm sick of this run-down place. Lon, why'd you come here? Why, Master Ald? Are you here to get some fashion tips from me? No. Hmm, ah. Oh yes, Master Ald, wasn't it? What can I do for you? Alright, so this is window, and you can change your window settings. I'm not sure if I've actually shown much of this off yet. Um, basically, you know, it just changes the borders. Um, to be perfectly honest, yeah, that's still the one that I like the best. And you can change the background color. Ah, wow, that's way too yellow. It's not the same. Oh, well, maybe not. I tend to like these two the best. I'll stick with this one just because it's a uh, standard. Not a great year for flowers. Not enough wind. 
Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I can talk to you this way. Well, hello! What can I do for you? And yeah, we can change the window sound, as I've kind of demonstrated. But now I have them all. I don't know why it sneezes. And, you know, I'll be perfectly honest, I think all of these would get really annoying. So, I am going to stick with the normal. Besides, it has the duck sound. Quack. Can't go wrong with the duck sound. Quack. All right, that's pretty much it for the uh, um, fortress. Uh, the fortresses get much more interesting in the later games. Um, the Fortress in 2 is pretty cool. 5 is really awesome. Uh, 3 is a boat. No, no, not 3. Uh, 4 is a boat, I'm sorry. Um, and 3 is pretty cool, too. Um, I, I kind of don't really like this one, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. But, hey, it's the first one, what can you expect? Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to show you. There, there were the spells, I'm not sure if I'll do that. Um, I'm going to append the uh, all the various um, unite commands after this. Um, probably not going to do the spells just because uh, this already has taken up a lot of time. So um, anyway, this is the end of the uh, this part of the bonus episode, and um, well, probably since this will be going up after the game is done, I'll be seeing you in the next Let's Play. Okay, let's do the uh, blacksmith attack, which is kind of interesting. Um, you see that uh, starting with mace, you actually have four of them. Um, they're all quad attacks. Uh, you can only use uh, four of them rather than all five. Um, but you can see that... Uh, um, each one of these uses a different group of them. And I think if I was to, um, let's see, let's uh, defend. So they can still unite to do a blacksmith attack. Basically what this will do is, uh, um, actually have him defend just in case. So it's like, you've seen the it before with uh, uh, the other guys, but 2,000 damage. Now, admittedly, that was an easy uh, monster, but uh, um, that's the largest of the uh, um, uh, the Unite attacks. Um, it's the only four-person one. Um, there's a few three-person um, Unite attacks, uh, quite a few uh, uh, in Quite a few uh, uh, two-person ones, so we'll go ahead and uh, um, go on to uh, another one in a moment. Okay, we can actually uh, test out two um, unite attacks in this uh, battle. Uh, we'll start off with the uh, beauty attack. As you can see, it uh, um, includes Valeria, Eileen, and Cleo. Uh, you can actually also do Cleo, Eileen, and Sonia. Um, it'll basically be the same thing. One thing that I uh, forgot to mention during the blacksmith attack is uh, uh, the total damage that it does is basically it totals up the attack power of all of the uh, um, individuals involved in, involved in the uh, um, uh, unite attack and then doubles it. This one will triple it and attack all the enemies. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Just defend, defend, defend. Wow, that's a lot of hearts. So that one does triple triple damage on all of them. So let's uh, let me go ahead and uh, reload it for a second, and I'll just have her defend. And uh, Lapont, Sheena, and Eileen have. Oh, that's right. They have. I can I can do another one too. Uh, I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and do a Lapont family attack. This one only attacks one person though. Um, it does. Um, double damage. 
so let's go ahead and see what that does. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and reload it. And, um... Defend, and let's go ahead and do the Unite uh, couple attack. And let me actually check to see how much, what this one normally does. Um, so that'll just be double damage. Ah, okay. So I don't think there's any more to test in uh, uh, this battle, so uh, I'll pick it up uh, um, as soon as I uh, swap out my characters. Okay, let's uh, start out by uh, um, testing out the martial arts attack. And a lot of these, you, you know, I mean, the, the, obviously these guys all kind of look alike, and uh, um, they, you know, they have the same stance, and uh, they have the same type of equipment. So that's one of the things that uh, you can look for, you know, if you were to play this game blind, uh, to try to find the uh, uh, Unite attacks. And... That was it. Well, looks like it attacks them all, okay. Let's just defend, defend, defend. Nice. So yeah, I mean, the, the great thing about the Unite attacks is, I mean, you've seen me use the uh, uh, Master Pupil attack a lot, so, uh, um, alright, that... I hit F1, why did it not... crap. Alright, well, I guess I'll be going back again to the, uh, um, get, the, get uh, Melia and Fuchs back in my party. Great. I know I hit F1. Stupid game. Okay, we have uh, two triple combos to uh, do this time. Let's have all defend, and let's go ahead and unite. Pretty girl attack. And it'll only do uh, go against one of them, so uh, go ahead and defend with the other two. Yeah, and this one I don't know how you'd uh, expect it to uh, operate. Fortunately, it, it does quite a bit of damage to one guy, but then unbalances uh, Kasumi, so... It's kind of annoying. Alright, um, so let's go ahead and defend, and I love how the music just stops when I uh, <laughs> load state. Alright, unite. Okay, and this is the ninja attack. Pretty good damage. So that's those two. Uh, let's move on to um, some more. Okay, um, first one that we're going to do is going to be the, uh, defend with him, uh, Unite, Pretty Boy Attack. And it's just on one of them, though. So let's go ahead and defend and defend. That's some pretty good damage. Incidentally, each one of the, well, um, uh, Alan and Grenseal both have, one has a Rage Rune, and the other has a Thunder Rune. Is it Thunder Rune? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Rage Rune and Thunder Rune. So those are pretty good if you are if you don't plan to use them. Uh, take them off and give them to other people. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and... Defend, 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 and... Unite! Dragon Knight attack! That's pretty good damage, too. So, uh, we'll be back in a moment with uh, another uh, uh, set of uh, United attacks. Okay, let's uh, do some more. Um, Kai has another uh, United attack with uh, um, Fukian and Leokan. So let's try that out. Flash attack. And Meg and Jupo have one, so let's uh, try that. Trick attack. Looks like they're going to go first. Okay. Wow, that's, that's a lot of little robots. Right, let's reload it since we uh, finished that battle. Uh, 
Incidentally, the Trick Rune, um, I'm not sure if I ever demonstrated that, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Wow, that's, wow. It's a lot of damage, that's really bright. But see, that's bad because it unbalances three people. So it would only be good if there was one guy left kind of thing. So, not the best, uh, uh, unite attack in my book. Alright, uh, one other thing that I wanted to show off is, this is the Resurrection Rune. I honestly do not really know what exactly all of those do, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what they do. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think you can take it off of him, so... Um, have to take him along, and I don't think you can get them any other way. Let's go ahead and do Scream. That heals everyone up, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, reload that again. Oops. Yell, I think, is, um, I'll just use that one. I think Yell will actually bring someone back to life. Obviously, she was dead. She wasn't dead, so it didn't do anything. And I really don't know what Fog of Deception does. Too lazy to look it up. I just don't use it. And lastly, Scolding. That does a little bit of damage to uh, one enemy. So that's that. Um, it's a very good rune, um, but unfortunately the character who has it isn't very good, and you can't get them any other way as far as I know. haven't really looked, uh, but yeah. So, um, I'll be uh, right back with uh, some more uh, Unite commands. Okay, uh, next up. Um, oddly enough, Humphrey has a Unite attack with Kryn. It's called a Bumpy Attack. Let's see what this does. Actually. And, um, Kuromimi, Gon, and uh, Fusulu have a Unite attack. Uh, Kobold plus one attack. And uh, Kuro, Mimi, and Gon also have a United attack. So we'll do that one in a second. <laughs> okay, that one is awesome. That one does a lot of damage, wow. Let's do that one again. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so uh, those are those three. And uh, we'll uh, do a few more in the next uh, part. Okay, we have uh, two triple combos to uh, do this time. Let's have all defend, and let's go ahead and unite. Pretty girl attack. Uh, it'll only do... Uh, against one of them, so uh, go ahead and defend with the other two. Yeah, and this one I don't know how you'd uh, expect it to uh, operate. Fortunately, it, it does quite a bit of damage to one guy, but then unbalances uh, Kasumi, so it's kind of annoying. Alright, um, so let's go ahead and defend, and I love how the music just stops when I uh, <laughs> load state. Alright, unite. Okay, and this is the ninja attack. That's pretty good damage. So that's those two. Uh, let's move on to um, some more. Okay, um, first one that we're gonna do is going to be the uh, defend with him. Uh, unite, pretty boy attack. That's just on one of them though. 
So let's go ahead and defend and defend. That's some pretty good damage. Incidentally, each one of the well, um, uh, Alan and Grenseal both have one has a Rage Rune and the other has a Thunder Rune. So the Thunder Rune, yeah, yeah, I think so. Rage Rune and Thunder Rune. So those are pretty good if you're if you don't plan to use them, uh, take them off and give them to other people. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and defend, defend, defend. And, and unite. Dragon Knight attack. That's pretty good damage too. So uh, we'll be back in a moment with uh, another uh, uh, set of uh, unite attacks. Okay, let's uh, do some more. Um, Kai has another uh, unite attack with uh, um, Fukian and Leokan. So let's try that out. Flash attack. And Meg and Jupo have one, so let's uh, try that. Trick attack. Uh, looks like they're going to go first. Okay. Wow, it's, it's a lot of little robots. Right, let's reload it since we uh, finished that battle. Incidentally, the Trick Rune, um, I'm not sure if I ever demonstrated that, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Wow, that's, wow. It's a lot of damage, that's really bright. But see, that's bad because it unbalances three people. So it would only be good if there was one guy left kind of thing. So, not the best uh, uh, Unite attack in my book. Alright, uh, one other thing that I wanted to show off is, this is the Resurrection Room. I honestly do not really know what exactly all of those do, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what they do. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think you can take it off of him, so... Um, have to take him along, and I don't think you can get them any other way. Let's go ahead and do Scream. That heals everyone up, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, reload that again. Oops. Yell, I think, is, um, I'll just use that one. I think Yell will actually bring someone back to life. Obviously she was dead. She wasn't dead, so it didn't do anything. And I really don't know what Fog of Deception does. Too lazy to look it up. I just don't use it. And lastly, Scolding. That does a little bit of damage to uh, one enemy. So that's that. Um, it's a very good rune, um, but unfortunately the character who has it isn't very good, and you can't get them any other way as far as I know. haven't really looked, uh, but yeah. So, um, I'll be uh, right back with uh, some more uh, Unite commands. Okay, uh, next up. Um, oddly enough, Humphrey has a Unite attack with Kryn. It's called a Bumpy Attack. Let's see what this does, actually. And, um, Kuromimi, Gon, and uh, Fusulu have a Unite attack. Uh, Kobold plus one attack. And uh, Kuromimi and Gon also have a Unite attack. So we'll do that one in a second. <laughs> okay, that one is awesome. That one does a lot of damage, wow. Let's do that one again. 
Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so uh, those are those three. And uh, we'll uh, do a few more in the next uh, part. Okay, um, first one that we're going to do is going to be the uh, defend with him. Uh, Unite Pretty Boy Attack. And it's just on one of them, though. So let's go ahead and defend and defend. Some pretty good damage. Incidentally, each one of the well, um, uh, Alan and Grenseal both have one has a Rage Rune and the other has a Thunder Rune. Is it Thunder Rune? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Rage Rune and Thunder Rune. So those are pretty good if you're if you don't plan to use them, uh, take them off and give them to other people. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and. Defend, 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 and unite. Dragon Knight attack. That's pretty good damage too. So uh, we'll be back in a moment with uh, another uh, uh, set of uh, unite attacks. Okay, let's uh, do some more. Um, Kai has another uh, unite attack with. Uh, um, Fukian and Leocon. So let's try that out. Flash attack. And Meg and Jupo have one, so let's uh, try that. Trick attack. Oh, looks like they're gonna go first. Okay. Wow, that's, that's a lot of little robots. Right, let's reload it since we uh, finished that battle. Incidentally, the Trick Rune, um, I'm not sure if I ever demonstrated that, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Wow, that's, wow. It's a lot of damage, that's really bright. But, see, that's bad because it unbalances three people. So it would only be good if there was one guy left kind of thing. So, not the best, uh, uh, Unite Attack in my book. Alright, uh, one other thing that I wanted to show off is, this is the Resurrection Rune. I honestly do not really know what exactly all of those do, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what they do. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think you can take it off of him, so... Um, have to take him along, and I don't think you can get them any other way. Let's go ahead and do Scream. That heals everyone up, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, reload that again. Oops. Yell, I think, is, um, I'll just use that one. I think Yell will actually bring someone back to life. Obviously she was dead. She wasn't dead, so it didn't do anything. And I really don't know what Fog of Deception does. Too lazy to look it up. I just don't use it. And lastly, Scolding. That does a little bit of damage to uh, one enemy. So that's that. Um, it's a very good rune, um, but unfortunately the character who has it isn't very good, and you can't get them any other way as far as I know. haven't really looked, uh, but yeah. So, um, I'll be uh, right back with uh, some more uh, Unite commands. Okay, uh, next up. Um, oddly enough, Humphrey has a Unite attack with Kryn. It's called a Bumpy Attack. 
and see what this does. Actually. And, um, Kuromimi, Gon, and uh, Fusulu have a Unite attack. Uh, Kobold plus one attack. And, uh, Kuromimi and Gon also have a Unite attack. So we'll do that one in a second. <laughs> okay, that one is awesome. That one does a lot of damage, wow. Let's do that one again. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so uh, those are those three. And uh, we'll uh, do a few more in the next uh, part. Okay, let's uh, do some more. Um, Kai has another uh, Unite attack with uh, um, Fukian and Leocon, so let's try that out. Flash attack. And Meg and Jupo have one, so let's uh, try that. Trick attack. Uh, looks like they're going to go first. Okay. Wow, that's, that's a lot of little robots. All right, let's reload it since we uh, finished that battle. Incidentally, the Trick Rune, um, I'm not sure if I ever demonstrated that, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Wow, that's, wow. It's a lot of damage, that's really bright. But see, that's bad because it unbalances three people. So it would only be good if there was one guy left kind of thing. So, not the best uh, uh, Unite attack in my book. Alright, uh, one other thing that I wanted to show off is, this is the Resurrection Rune. I honestly do not really know what exactly all of those do, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what they do. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think you can take it off of him, so... Um, have to take him along, and I don't think you can get them any other way. Let's go ahead and do Scream. That heals everyone up, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, reload that again. Oops. Yell, I think, is, um, I'll just use that one. I think Yell will actually bring someone back to life. Obviously she was dead. She wasn't dead, so it didn't do anything. And I really don't know what Fog of Deception does. Too lazy to look it up. I just don't use it. And lastly, Scolding. That does a little bit of damage to uh, one enemy. So that's that. Um, it's a very good rune, um, but unfortunately the character who has it isn't very good, and you can't get them any other way as far as I know. haven't really looked, uh, but yeah. So, um, I'll be uh, right back with uh, some more uh, Unite commands. Okay, uh, next up. Um, oddly enough, Humphrey has a Unite attack with Kryn. It's called a Bumpy Attack. Let's see what this does, actually. And, um, Kuromimi, Gon, and uh, Fusulu have a Unite attack. Uh, Kobold plus one attack. And, uh, Kuromimi and Gon also have a Unite attack. So we'll do that one in a second. <laughs> okay, that one is awesome. That one does a lot of damage, wow. Let's do 
let's do that one again. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so uh, those are those three. And uh, we'll uh, do a few more in the next uh, part. Okay, uh, next up. Um, oddly enough, Humphrey has a Unite attack with Kryn. It's called a Bumpy Attack. Let's see what this does. Actually. And, um, Kuromimi, Gon, and uh, Fusulu have a Unite attack. Uh, Kobold plus one attack. And, uh, Kuromimi and Gon also have a Unite attack. So we'll do that one in a second. <laughs> okay, that one is awesome. That one does a lot of damage, wow. Let's do that one again. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so uh, those are those three. And uh, we'll uh, do a few more in the next uh, part. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, test out a couple more. We've got uh, Pirate Attack, and Bandit Attack. That's pretty good damage. It's also pretty good damage. Luckily, neither of those uh, do any unbalancing, so um, yeah. Alright, let me uh, go ahead and uh, switch up our party my party members again. Okay, this time we've got Elves with us. So there's quite a few. Um, you've got with Kirkus, you've got uh, Wild Arrow Attack with uh, um, Sylvina or uh, Ruby or Stallion, and you also have uh, Elf Attack with Stallion and Sylvina. So let's go ahead and try that one first. Give me a save state. There we go. That's pretty good damage. I think Kirkus is the only one who actually has the uh, Unite attack, so let's go ahead and do it with Ruby. Yeah, so neither of them can uh, use one. And that one unbalances them, so yeah, it's not so good. Anyway, let's uh, go swap out my party members again. Okay, there's uh, only two more um, dual attacks, uh, United attacks, that I uh, haven't done yet. Um, I've used uh, Grimio and Pawn's Talisman attack, uh, Taiho and Yamku's Fisherman attack, and um, uh, Hicks and Tengar's Warrior attack during the actual game, so I have, I'm not going to take the time to show those off. And of course, um, the Master Pupil attack, which <laughs> everyone's seen plenty of times by now. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we've got. So we've got Fatal Attack and Carpenter Attack. Let's start with Fatal Attack. Actually, let's see if... Yeah, okay. They both only hit one. Actually, let's, uh, let's use it on the Beast Commander. Not too bad. They're pretty low level, so it's not like it's going to do a whole lot. Let's go ahead and use the Carpenter attack. A little bit better damage, but then again, they're higher level, so... Alright, so that's the uh, last of those. Um... At this point, I'm not sure whether this is going to be at the end of the bonus episode or at the beginning, um, since I haven't recorded everything and I'm recording it in segments, so uh, if this is the end of the bonus episode, see you later. And if it is not the end of the bonus episode, see you in a moment. 
Okay, this time we've got elves with us. So there's quite a few. Um, you've got with Kirkus, you've got uh, wild arrow attack with uh, um, Sylvina or uh, Ruby or Stallion, and you also have uh, elf attack with Stallion and Sylvina. So let's go ahead and try that one first. Safe state. There we go. That was pretty good damage. I think Kirkus is the only one who actually has the uh, Unite attack, so let's go ahead and do it with Ruby. Yeah, so neither of them can uh, use one. And that one unbalances them, so. Yeah, it's not so good. Anyway, let's uh, go swap out my party members again. Okay, there's uh, only two more um, dual attacks, uh, United attacks, that I uh, haven't done yet. Um, I've used uh, Grimio and Pawn's Talisman attack, uh, Taiho and Yamku's Fisherman attack, and um, Hicks and Tengar's warrior attack during the actual game, so I have, I'm not going to take the time to show those off. And of course, um, the master pupil attack, which <laughs> everyone's seen plenty of times by now. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we've got. So we've got fatal attack and carpenter attack. Let's start with fatal attack. Actually, let's see. If, yeah, okay, they both only hit one. Actually, let's, uh, let's use it on the beast commander. Not too bad. They're pretty low level, so it's not like it, it's going to do a whole lot. Let's go ahead and use the Carpenter attack. A little bit better damage, but then again, they're higher level, so. Alright, so that's the uh, last of those. Um. At this point, I'm not sure whether this is going to be at the end of the bonus episode or at the beginning, um, since I haven't recorded everything and I'm recording it in segments, so uh, if this is the end of the bonus episode, see you later. And if it is not the end of the bonus episode, see you in a moment. Okay, there's uh, only two more um, dual attacks, uh, United attacks, that I uh, haven't done yet. Um, I've used uh, Grimio and Pawn's Talisman attack, uh, Taiho and Yamku's Fisherman attack, and um, uh, Hicks and Tengar's Warrior attack during the actual game, so I have, I'm not going to take the time to show those off. And of course, um, the Master Pupil attack, which <laughs> everyone's seen plenty of times by now. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we've got. So we've got Fatal Attack and Carpenter Attack. Let's start with Fatal Attack. Actually, let's see if... Yeah, okay. They both only hit one. Actually, let's, uh, let's use it on the Beast Commander. Yeah, not too bad. They're pretty low level, so it's not like it, it's going to do a whole lot. Let's go ahead and use the Carpenter Attack. A little bit better damage, but then again, they're higher level, so. Alright, so that's the uh, last of those. Um, at this point, I'm not sure whether this is going to be at the end of the bonus episode or at the beginning, um, since I haven't recorded everything and I'm recording it in segments, so. Uh, if this is the end of the bonus episode, see you later. And if it is not the end of the bonus episode, see you in a moment.